good morning. I've spent a couple of hours getting some work done this morning. Um, washed my hair, had a shower, things like that. I've just gone to one of the local places to get a pineapple juice for 18,000, so 24,000 or 25,000, something like that. It's about a euro, so it's just less than a euro. And it's the size almost of my head, it's huge. Filled with ice, so that's gonna be my breakfast. But hello, we are walking in town today. We're just gonna have a bit of a chill day. Like I said, I got some work done this morning. We're gonna have a walk around, get some probably work done this afternoon when it gets too hot. Okay, so we've made it to the local market. I think we're gonna be the only white people here because it's super local, which I absolutely love. You know, I love visiting local markets. So this is the market that we came to. I will leave the information in the description box as I always do. I didn't film too much in there because it was quite empty and we were the only tourists in there. So I kind of thought, you know, the people in there were just going about their daily life, doing their job. They probably didn't want some white chick taking pictures of them. But it's um, really interesting. I always love seeing what they're selling. So they had frogs and eels and fish and vegetables. Um, what was interesting, they had one woman who was making coconuts into coconut rice. So she had a machine where she would put the coconut on there and it would like strip it of all the stuff. There's also quite a few people packaging up something. We have no idea what it is. It was like a brown, it's meh in um, Vietnamese because we asked somebody and that's what he said. And then we tried to Google it. It's like a brown mush and they would like, somebody would um, get a ball of it and weigh it and then chuck it over. And then somebody else would then put that in a plastic bag and then somebody else would package it. So there was quite a few people doing that. We just don't really know what it was. It's seedless. Seedless something. Something, seedless may, and it looks like a fruit. Did you take a picture of it? I said to Jeremy, take a picture. We can ask the woman at the hotel, but no idea what it was. Um, it's hot again today, isn't it? Jeremy's made a friend. Little puppy. He's cute. So we're just walking past this building. The whole thing is gold. <laughs> This is Beauty and Skincare Centre, Angel Beauty. It's very gold. So I'm going to leave a little screenshot here of where we've walked to because there's zero tourists here. And it's actually quite a nice view. There's little benches under trees where I'm sat at the moment. And it's quite a nice view over the Mekong River and the Delta and bridges and boats and things without being like full of tourists and people selling stuff to tourists. So I'll leave a little screenshot and you can, I'll probably leave information in the description box as well if I can find out what it's called. It's not even any local anyway. <laughs> no, there's no one here. There's no locals, there's no it's one. <laughs> no, there's no one. It's nice, it's nice and quiet. Um, but I think we're going to get some food. There was somebody behind me, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, selling um, soup, we think, beef soup maybe. So I think we're going to go there for some street food. Um, I don't think I might have told you, but um, the ball of my tragus piercing came off a couple of days ago. I completely forgot about it and I just checked then and I was like, oh yeah, it's still in there. So I think we're going to try and find a tattoo and piercing shop and see if I can get either a replacement ball or a new bar or a hoop or something just to keep that open because I'm not even that bothered about the piercing. I just don't really like the look of having a hole there. So I'd rather have something rather than a hole. So I think we're going to go there on the way back into town that way, but I'll show you this view because it is quite nice. So this is the view that I was just talking about. We did see some people fishing, but they've gone now. And there's a big um, bridge over there. That's where we arrived when we came. Sorry about the wind. And that's why I was just sat in the, in the shade. So yeah, let's go get some food then. So the place that we thought about going is actually just closing. So we're walking along this main street and it's so huge, but there's like zero cars or anyone here. It's really interesting. This is what it looks like, so it's beautiful. It's just so empty, like there's one motorbike. And 
then no one. So we're just walking past this cafe and there's like motorbikes and seats and things. Then there's also just loads of hammocks with tables next to them. So I think you can order a drink and they come and lay in a hammock. I love that. Look at all the hammocks. And there's some that side as well. Okay, so it's called Bolke, I think, cafe. And Jane has just looked and they do have internet. So we might be coming back with our laptops and just chill in a hammock with a drink and do some work. There's another one just next door. Some more hammocks. So interesting. Oh, there's more there as well. Why is this like hammock cafe town? It's a thing. Yeah. You see them at the back there? So we were walking down this empty road and they decided to come here um, to see if there's some food. So it says restaurant and resort, so it might be super expensive or it might be Vietnam expensive. I don't know. We're going to see if we can find some food anyway because we're hungry. Okay, this looks posh. If you want somewhere posh to stay in Kanto, this place looks nice. <laughs> this is so cute. A big fish. Didn't see it. So we sneaked into the resort and we're sat on this cute little wooden bridge <laughs> overlooking a tiny little part of the Mekong River. But it does sound like there's a big restaurant there, so I th I think it's worth going to see. Let's see how much it is. It's either gonna be way expensive or it might be alright, we'll see. This is cute though. Massive fish. So, this is the restaurant and resort. For the sake of research, for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to go and have a look. But I don't think we're going to eat here because we didn't bring much cash with us. But this is what it looks like. This is a cool place. Wow. So there's more seating out here. This is nice, isn't it? Pretty big. Blimey. So there's a big table there. And then there's these smaller tables. Wings. Wow, this place is cool. So we're still in the restaurant and this is where they um, have the accommodations where you can stay. Isn't that just idyllic? So, so beautiful. It's quite loud at the moment because there's a big party over there, I think. Wow, it's so pretty. So here there's some more accommodation. There's a bridge over there. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, so that place is beautiful. I think we're gonna have a look at how much it is for a night there. Um, we'll see when we get back. Um, and maybe go for lunch. We thought maybe the 1st of January could be a nice thing to do go for lunch there but there's another section that we're going to go and have and explore as well see what's there might be near the hotel or something we'll see this walkway is really cool though i love the palm trees and these like shapes we just walked through there it's so pretty okay mini beach eat joy party we're going to see what's going on in here we were just saying it's so interesting it's like it's been abandoned and like nature is taking over like a lot of the signs are worn down or they're covered in yeah covered in um plants and things and there's no one here apart from that resort but like the road is empty we've now come to this bit and it's weird it really let me show you this view it really is like an abandoned town it's so bizarre but right, look at this here it's just so this is mini beach the party place 
like we were saying, it should be full of people. And I wonder if in summer it is. I don't know, like there's so many tables, there's so much space. There's like um, hammocks over there, the ones, I, I don't know where I saw them, but yeah, over there. There's hammocks and palm trees and tables and it's got so much potential to be like a cool party place. And then obviously that's the Mekong River and there's a little beach here that is absolutely littered. Like, look how cute this is. Coconuts, palm trees, wooden shack. It's so cute. There's just no one here. They've got strong bells. Isn't it just so cute? like a holiday destination you know with the way it's all decorated and say like party chill you know <laughs> good vibes all that sort of thing saying strong bows and beers and things so obviously it's some sort of party place and I don't know if it's quiet because of covid I don't know if it's quiet because it's be between Christmas and New Year's I don't know if it's quiet because of it the would, time of year it would not be let down a lot yeah it's the weird. Side, everything would not be let down. It was just temporary, right? Yeah. It's so weird because it's such a, that's such a beautiful place, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's decorated and things. And let me show you this amount of shit. Honestly, the dirtiest place I think I've been ever in my life. I think. Like if you just see all of that, all those plastic bags and trash everywhere. Like even here, for example, that's the sign, and you can see it's just covered in nature all the way across there as well like nothing's really being taken care of and even this sign like i feel like if that was you know if it was closed for two weeks a year it wouldn't get that <laughs> covered in nature so really interesting i don't really know what's going on there but roads in vietnam are usually terrifying this is one of the biggest ones we're crossing and there's just no one around that is so weird so I've just crossed this bridge and you can see down there some of the things they're building and these are some of the more things they're building so they're still going so we've come to a small place for lunch and we were saying we're glad they've got the prices up here because we know what we're paying for we looked online on Google Translate and this one said special balls we just ordered this one said special balls we just ordered two of those Not, no idea what we're going to get but it's cute here though and they've even got these with fresh air, you know, to try and cool you down a little bit. <laughs> so we just ordered a cane sugar drink because she was literally squashing it there using that machine and these. Is it good? Yeah. Can you see it? Well, so she's put some ice in it, but... Okay, okay so this is a special bowl. We've got a bit of tomato, a bit of squid, some of them the salad stuff. Yeah, seafood. Oh, that is the brown one. And some noodles, looks delicious. So this looks like tofu, I think. This looks like liver. Mm. Oh, we've even got some liver or heart prawns or something. Blimey! It's hot. So apparently this is fish paste, and you put some in. Shrimp. And then, oh, shrimp paste. Yeah. There's limes and there's chilies and then there's fish sauce as well that we're going to put in. Oh, it's strong. Yeah, don't put too much. So, I know this is not the best angle. Uh. I'm just about to vlog. <laughs> what? So, I know this is not the best angle, but... <laughs> Um, we just got back from lunch and it was nice but I almost died about three times because there's the noodles and then there was green I don't know if I showed but there was like green um, 
not green noodles, like green salad, but noodly that long. And about three times when I ate, when I was like eating the noodles, something would slide down the wrong side of my throat. I'd have to be like, ooh, like to Jeremy. And you do that thing with back of your throat, like, like trying to bring it back up again. I was doing that. And then this last time it happened, it went down and I couldn't get it out. And I was like, Jeremy, Jeremy. And then I was like trying to stick my hand in, trying to pull it out. I couldn't grab hold of it. And then I was like coughing and then I ended up being sick. And then so after that, I was like trying to eat my food with like the taste of sick in my mouth. And like I'd got a bit shaky because I'd been sick. And then it gave me a headache because the heat and the coughing and the sick. So anyway, we're back at the hotel having to lay down. I think I'm going to have a little snooze. And I've still got to finish editing my video for this evening, but we've got the AC on and I'm feeling a little bit better now that like we've cooled down a bit. But yeah, it was delicious apart from the fact that I nearly died. So I didn't vlog all afternoon because we basically went back to the hotel. I watched some YouTube. I actually relaxed for the first time in ages. I also edited a video, but anyway, we've come out to see the Christmas lights and to get some food. So I thought I would show you. You can see a little bit of a sneak peek behind me, but it looks so cute. So this is the lights that way. So above me, some over, hair, oh, over my head, sorry, and then some over there, and you can see it says about 2023. So that's exciting. Look at all these delicious cakes they have. Oh my god, look at the croissant. It's huge. Mexican bread. Mmm. I don't know if that's sweet or savoury. No idea what that is. Wow. Look at all these cakes as well. And these. And these. Oh my goodness. So you get a tray and help yourself. So we've got a chocolate muffin each. And then Jeremy wanted this strawberry and cream thing and I wanted this. I have no idea what it is. Oh. Okay, so this is where we just went to get the food, Saigon Bakery. Hopefully it's delicious and we can come back. So the cakes cost about 50,000, which is about two euros, which means they're about 50 cents each. So 50 cents per cake, basically. Which, hopefully they're good, because we can then come back and try lots of different other ones, which will be fun. So here's the night market that we saw yesterday. Obviously we didn't really see it at night time, but now it's all lit up and it's busier-ish. <laughs> not busy but it's busier <laughs> okay we've now come to the food market I think we're going to try and get some bits and bobs and then um, get some food here there are also restaurants actually on the side as well so maybe we do that we haven't really decided yet we're just going to see what tickles our fancy so we've come to this place and we're getting some random stuff we know that the one on the end there is beef but then that one's pork the third one the orange one is fish and then we don't know. I fancy getting either an orange or a purple thing up there. Oyster. They've also got oysters and chicken feet at the back. I don't know what these purple ones are as well. Okay. So everything's covered in flies, which is yummy. So they're barbecuing some of it and then frying some of it. This is just set up a table, I think, for us. We have spikes, don't we? Yeah, we've got these. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is how it's arrived in a polystyrene thing. I hope that's everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try it and see what we have. So come down by the water and some of the boats are actually got cruises. So I think you'd probably like pay for dinner and a show or a cruise kind of thing. And then some of the lights are over there, which is nice. And then this one over here is super bright, this building. So I've just walked up to these bridges with the beautiful lights. I hope that's showing properly on the camera. And there was some on that bridge over there. So we were thinking about getting up at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to go and see the floating markets. And our plan was to get up and try and get a taxi there because one of the um, tours that we've seen is about a million, which is about 40 euros, 45 euros, which we thought was quite a lot for a three hour tour. So we thought about getting up early and just getting a taxi there. Apparently there's a bridge you can get on and take some good photographs. And then as we're just walking around, some woman told us that she's got a boat and would we want to go with her? And we're kind of a bit like, mm, how much? And she said 400 for two people for three hours. So we kind of thought, do you know what? We might do that instead because I was initially thinking we could go like go on our own one day and do a tour another day. But then actually it's New Year's, this weekend. So on this Sunday, we're not gonna want to do it because we're gonna get to bed late. And also, 
Saturday. We're not going to want to do it because we're going to want to stay up until midnight. I also don't want to get up twice at four. We also don't fancy getting up twice at four a.m. So we're thinking. We're now trying to decide, like, do we either just get up and try and get a taxi and do our own thing, but then maybe not get on a boat? Or do we go with this woman, this woman for 400, which is more than half price of what we've been quoted elsewhere? Um, I, think I think it's fair. I think we'll do that. So we're going to go and book that with her, I think. I don't want to be in Adventure. No. Maybe she's on trip tomorrow. No, no, we'll just say we'll meet you here tomorrow at 5 a.m. Yeah. Right, we've booked in a tour with that woman, so it's 400 for two of us. We're meeting her at 5 a.m. here. But we decided, have you seen a cute kid or a cute dog or both? <laughs> um, so we booked in with her at 5 a.m. here tomorrow. We decided we're going to have some cake. So Jeremy's got his strawberry one. Are you going to try it? Yeah. I'll try mine at the same time because Jeremy takes forever to give a verdict. Ooh. Not bad. Right. Not the best cake I've ever had, but not bad. For 50 cents, it's not really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, got to remember the price. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try my second cake, which was this one. It's kind of orange underneath and it seems to have cream in it. I have no idea what flavour it is. It's like donut. Mm. better than the cake. That's good. Look at this now, the lights are on. I think we saw it yesterday. And they've also got water coming down. Can you see the water? And then the 2023 back there. Okay, so we are back at the hotel. I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to bed early tonight because obviously tomorrow morning we are getting up at about 4am to go on a boat trip to see the floating markets. So make sure you subscribe so you can watch that video which will be coming up next and I'll see you very soon. Bye!